We're just fastening back on the valve. Yeah, the cable ties ready. Cable ties ready. Ah! So I've got to empty this old tank of water in my garden and I was going to use a giant pump to do it, left over from some past inventions. But then I thought, hang on a minute, I remembered an invention that seven-year-old Xanthi sent us that would let us do it in style. Kids invent stuff. So seven-year-old Xanthi sent their idea for a pogo stick as you jump up and down, sprays out water. So we're going to be building the world's soggiest pogo stick. So we've got this second-hand pogo stick. I am not very good at this. But this is what we need to get started with Xanthi's invention. <laughs> so Xanthi's invention fires water, which means we need to get our pogo stick connected to our very impressive pump. Now you might remember our pump from such classics as Slime Firing Car and Waterfall Swing. And we know this pump is impressive. It fires a ton of water a minute, which means we need some pretty cool kit to make sure that the water doesn't just explode everywhere. So we've got these high pressure valves. Look at these. So this is like, if you think of it like your tap. So currently no water is flowing out, but if you press on this in the same way you might turn your tap, then water can come out of it. And somehow this bit, this like opening of it, needs to be activated when we jump up and down on our pogo stick. So as we jump, the water fires out. Now it's time to start experimenting to see how we activate our valves with our pogo stick. So we've made a mini version of a sort of firefighting nozzle. And basically when we push on here, hopefully some water will come out of here. Um, and the idea is that we'll pump the water in here and then we're gonna make another one of these that will go on the other side. So when you bounce on the pogo stick, the valves will open and the water will hopefully come out both sides. Just sounds like chaos. <laughs> Complete chaos. This is the top of the pipe. This is the bottom of the pipe to make it work. This and this need to be facing the same way. Can we make it line up? If you all shout really loud and comment on the video, it will help Sean turn the pipe around. <laughs> we could put this pipe on the end of it. That'll give you a bit more. Okay, right. You've got to be able to do that. Hallelujah. Is it super easy now? Hallelujah. Physics people slash Ruth smartness. Ruth. What are you doing? I'm pogo stick training! <laughs> Is this like the fitness routine? I will be able to pogo! What is going on? Okay, so we've got our pogo stick with our sort of pipe assembly and our lever valves. And we've drilled some holes in those lever valves. And we've drilled those holes because we thought we might attach these to them. So these are little caster wheels. And our thinking is that if those bolt on there, that they'll be able to swivel a bit. But when you jump on the bottom of the pogo stick, this bit here, which is the sprung bit, as that compresses, these will push as well. And in theory, you might also be able to lean the pogo stick to make one turn on more than the other. We're kind of making up as we go along. We don't really know what's gonna happen. What could possibly go wrong? Hi, Ruth. Hi! I'm an athlete! So this is the end of our pipe where the water will come up our pogo stick. And we've got these pipe fittings which we're going to add on to the end a bit. And what that will do is that is a smaller diameter which will increase the pressure. It might increase the pressure too much, we're not entirely sure yet. But hopefully what will happen, fingers crossed, is a lovely jet of water will fire out the end of the pipe. So the lever arms on these valves are adjustable. So we're just adjusting them so they're in line with the pogo bouncy end bit. Um, so that hopefully you'll be able to bounce on the spot and open the valve. So we're using the pogo stick to empty Sean's water tank. And so we need to connect the water tank to the pogo stick via the pump. And so we've got all these bits of pipe. We've got this big plastic pipe, which is gonna to connect to the pump and go in the water tank. We've obviously got our pump and our engine to run our pump. We've got some fire hose. Oh, which I just splashed myself on the face with. <laughs> You've got this fire hose that's going to go on there. And that's going to attach to our pogo stick. 
And there's going to be even more water. Not just a bit I flicked on my face. There's going to be water everywhere. It's finished. I am a little bit worried, though, that my training is not enough to be able to use this. And I'm super clumsy. If only we knew someone who was actually good on a pogo stick. Did someone say pogo stick? It's YouTube and television's Muddy Moat. This is Maddie Moat. Maddie is a YouTuber and BAFTA award winning presenter and she's passionate about curiosity. She's the perfect person to test this pogo stick with us. Let's test this. Okay, so I'm just about to start the pump for the first time. Let's see what happens. Fastening back on the valve. Cable tied ready. Cable tied ready. Ah! Still wet, Sean. I am so very, very soggy. Oh, no! <laughs> it's working! This is so good! Right, go on, Pogo. Yes! Woohoo! Wow! Pogo garden watering. So, Maddie, is this what you expected? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I just thought I was coming over to help you water the garden. Great! Oh, oh no! Oh no! We lost our cable tie! We lost the cable tied one! Engineering, where things go wrong <laughs> all the time! I think if we just open the valve, water everywhere. We need to empty the tank. The garden needs watering! What could possibly go wrong? Oh, yes! Yeah. 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 Yeah.